the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. We welcome everyone to our celebration of the Eucharist uh, for this um, 26th Sunday in Ordinary Time, and a Sunday which is observed uh, at the, the last Sunday of S September, which is observed as Migrant and Refugee Sunday. As Migrant Sunday, we celebrate the, the rich cultural diversity of our nation, the, the great gift we have of coming from so many lands and cultures. As Refugee Sunday, we uh, commit our hearts as Christians to the cause of those who have lost home and homeland and seek asylum. So as we begin our celebration, Let's ask God's grace that we would be in our own lives ministers of God's love. Lord Jesus, you call us to be prophets of your gospel. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you fill us with the power and strength of the Holy Spirit. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you anoint us as your servants. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And on this, the Lord's day, we praise God together. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who manifest your almighty power above all by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us, <clears throat> and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord came down in the cloud. He spoke with Moses, but took some of the spirit that was on him and put it on 70 elders. When the spirit came on them, they prophesied, but not again. Two men had stayed back in the camp. One was called Eldad and the other Medad. The Spirit came down on them. Though they had not gone to the tent, their names were enrolled among the rest. These began to prophesy in the camp. The young man ran to tell this to Moses. Look, he said, Eldad and Medad are prophesying in the camp. Then said Joshua, the son of Nun, who had served Moses from his youth, My Lord Moses, stop them. Moses answered him, Are you jealous on my account? If only the whole people of the Lord were prophets, and the Lord gave his spirit to them all. The word of the Lord.
Please join me in praying the psalm. The law of the Lord is perfect. It revives the soul. The rule of the Lord is to be trusted. It gives wisdom to the simple. The fear of the Lord is holy, abiding for ever. The decrees of the Lord are the truth, and all of them just. In them your servant finds instructions. Great reward is in their keeping. But who can detect all their errors? From hidden faults, acquit me. From presumption, restrain your servant, and let it not rule me. Then shall I be blameless, clean from grave sin. A reading from the letter of St James. An answer for the rich. Start crying. Weep for the miseries that are coming to you. Your wealth is all rotting. Your clothes are all eaten by moths. All your gold and silver are corroding away. And the same corrosion will be your sins and eat into your body. It was a burning fire that you stored up as your treasure for the last days. Labourers mowed your fields and you cheated them. Listen to the wages that you kept back, calling out. Realise that the cries of the reapers have reached the ears of the Lord of hosts. On earth, you had a life full of comfort and luxury. In time of slaughter, you went on eating to your heart's content. It was you who condemned the innocent and killed them. They offered you no resistance. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. John said to Jesus, Master, we saw a man who is not one of us casting out devils in your name. And because he was not one of us, we tried to stop him. But Jesus said, you must not stop him. No one who works a miracle in my name is likely to speak evil of me. Anyone who is not against us is for us. If anyone gives you a cup of water to drink just because you belong to Christ, then I tell you solemnly, they will most certainly not lose their reward. But anyone who is an obstacle to bring down one of these little ones who have faith will be better thrown into the sea with a great millstone round their neck. And if your hand should cause you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life crippled than to have two hands and go to hell, into the fire that cannot be put out. And if your foot should cause you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life lame than to have two feet and be thrown into hell. 
that if your eyes should cause you to sin, tear it out. It is better for you to enter into the kingdom of God with one eye than to have two eyes and be thrown into hell, where their worm does not die, nor their fire go out. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hello, hello kids, and uh, I hope you're enjoying your school holidays. I know uh, it's not possible to travel, uh, sadly, at this time, but it's a chance to have a break from school and uh, enjoy these beautiful days of the season of spring. I just wanted to share with you uh, uh, just a couple of thoughts about our um, scripture readings today. And in the gospel, Jesus says to his disciples that they very much will receive God's love if they help someone in need. Well, today uh, we celebrate a day called Migrant and Refugee Sunday. Uh, we, we think of those who come to our land, Australia, from all over the world. And it's wonderful that we are a nation made up of people from so many countries and so many cultures, all uh, created by our one God. But refugees is, uh, is an important part of today's uh, celebration, that we think of those who have suffered in their homeland because of war or other reasons. They've had to flee their home. Imagine if we had to do that. And today we're asked as Christians to have a heart open to people in need and especially to those who are refugees, who have had to flee their home, who've lost their home, lost their, their country, perhaps separated from their family, and come to our land uh, seeking a new home. Are we going to be people who have a heart that welcomes them? Some people want to uh, chase them away. As Christians, uh, we can't be those people. So in the bulletin today, you'll find a page, a youth page, which has some ideas for how we can open our heart uh, to those in this special need, to those who are refugees. And I hope you'll have a look at the bulletin and see if you can take up one of those ideas. But as we hear God's word today, let's pray that it will inspire us to have the heart of Jesus, a heart which loves all people. Let's now profess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. On this Migrant and Refugee Sunday, we pray to the God of all people that our hearts will be open in Jesus' message of justice welcome and compassion. We pray for Francis our Pope and Anthony our Bishop, that they will be sustained by the Spirit in their ministry or service. Lord, hear us. On this special Sunday, we pray for those who have lost home and homeland and seek asylum, that they may find an open heart and a warm welcome in the Christian nations of the world. Lord, hear us. 
We pray for the upcoming Plenary Council of the Australian Catholic Church, that under the Holy Spirit's guidance, it may bring renewal and revitalization to the Church. Lord, hear us. For our political and medical leaders as they work together for the good of all during these challenging days, that they may be guided by the wisdom and compassion of God. Lord, hear us. We pray for our Year 12 students who are experiencing the unique challenges that this time brings to them, that they may know God's strength and presence in their lives. Lord, hear us. We pray for our fellow local Christian churches. This week we pray especially for Reverend Yang Gray's son and the congregation at Linfield Uniting Church. Lord, hear us. May our prayers rise before you, God of all peoples and all nations. May your grace fill the world and bring forth the reign of justice and mercy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Grant us, O merciful God, that this, our offering, may find acceptance with you, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. 
For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed us in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to, to serve in your name all that you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Jesus our Lord. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the cup, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one body by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and gathered in prayer on Sunday, the day on which Christ conquered death and made us sharers of his divine life, we pray, bring us to the fullness of love, together with Francis our Pope, and Anthony Randazzo our Bishop, and all the clergy, and all your people. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have loved you throughout the ages, we too may be counted worthy to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, forever and ever. Amen. The day draws nearer when we will be able to uh, assemble again as members of Christ's body. For now we remain divided uh, physically, but in the spirit 
join together. We now pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let's share with those you may be gathered with a sign of peace, but firstly let's pray for one another, particularly for those who are alone at this time, that God's peace be in all of our hearts, God's strength in these strange days. And let's await in hope our regathering as Christ's body, that we may share in his Eucharistic body. So peace be with you all and please share a sign of peace if you are with others. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be co-heirs in glory with Christ, to whose suffering we are united whenever we proclaim his death. For he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Well, the bulletin is absolutely uh, full to the brim today, so... Uh, Hopefully you received it in my weekly email, but otherwise it's on our parish website. 
uh, please take the time to read it. Lots of news there, but also lots of reading for uh, reflection to nourish the spirit at this time. Uh, I mentioned it's uh, Migrant and Refugee Sunday. There are two notices in the bulletin. Uh, one is uh, for the kids and some activities for them related to uh, this day. The other is to adults, and it's an invitation to put your name down to a letter uh, Jesuit Refugee Services is organising, going to our local member, uh, urging that the government provide extra spaces for uh, those from Afghanistan who are seeking asylum in the wake of uh, all the recent turmoil. But that has to, uh, your name has to be submitted to the organisers by this Sunday. So please see that if you'd like to do that and send the details of uh, who to send that to, uh, your name to, uh, are given there. And of course, we look forward to, uh, in the not too distant future, being able to gather together again after our long, um, our long break from one another in the body, our long fast from the wonderful gift of the Eucharist. And we'll keep you posted as we know how things unfold. In the meantime, we have these beautiful days of spring, which I hope bring a, a lift to the spirits uh, during the challenges of this time. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks, everyone. Yeah.